Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about post-market clinical follow-up in clinical research. More after the intro. As a beginner clinical research associate and those new to clinical research, you may be unfamiliar with post-market clinical follow-up, PMCF. PMCF is an important part of the clinical research process used to ensure the safety, efficacy, and long-term performance of medical products. In this video, we will discuss what PMCF is, the benefits it provides, its components, and how to implement it in clinical research. PMCF is a process used to ensure the continued safety and efficacy of medical devices after they are approved for market use. It involves collecting post-market clinical data and monitoring patient outcomes to ensure the marketed product performs as expected and does not present any new risks. PMCF is an important part of the clinical research process and helps to ensure medical devices are safe and effective for patient use. The European Medical Device Regulation MDR, requires the setup of an PMCF plan as part of the post-market surveillance process, PMS. What are the benefits of PMCF? PMCF contributes to medical device safety by providing data on everyday use, on device performance, and long-term efficacy. This data can be used to identify potential risks or safety issues quickly and take action if necessary. PMCF also contributes to long-term risk management by providing ongoing monitoring of device performance and patient outcome tracking. This helps to identify potential issues early before they could become serious problems. What are the components of PMCF? PMCF is part of the post-market surveillance and is made up of several components, including clinical trial updates, device performance assessment, continued safety assessment, real-world evidence collection, post-approval studies, and patient outcome tracking. Each component provides important data that can be used to ensure the continued safety and efficacy of medical devices. Post-market surveillance involves collecting data on device use in the real-world setting. This includes data on device performance, patient outcomes, and any other relevant information to guarantee safety and expected performance. Clinical trial updates involve collecting data from ongoing clinical trials and using it to make changes or improvements to the device. Device performance assessment involves measuring device performance in real-world settings over time. Continued safety assessment involves collecting data on any new risks associated with the device. Real-world evidence collection involves collecting data from real-world settings to assess device performance. PMCF studies involve assessing device performance in specific populations or scenarios that were not included in pre-market trials, so clinical trials before its market authorization. Finally, patient outcome tracking involves collecting data on how patients respond to the device over time. This is for example done by asking the participants to fill out questionnaires and by the investigators who evaluate the outcome from a medical point of view. But how to implement PMCF? When implementing PMCF in clinical research, there are several steps that need to be taken. First, appropriate clinical data must be collected to assess device performance and patient outcomes over time. This includes data on device usage, patient responses, and any other relevant information. Second, patients must be monitored over time to assess their response to the device and identify any potential issues or risks associated with its use. Third, clinical trials must be updated regularly to ensure the accuracy of the data collected and make any necessary changes or improvements to the device. Finally, device performance must be measured regularly in real-world settings to ensure it is performing as expected. In conclusion, PMCF is an important part of the clinical research process used to ensure the continued safety and efficacy of medical devices after they are approved for market use. 
It helps to identify potential risks or safety issues quickly and take action if necessary. To implement PMCF in clinical research, appropriate clinical data must be collected, patients must be monitored over time, clinical trials must be updated regularly, and device performance must be measured in real-world settings. By understanding the importance of PMCF and how to implement it in clinical research, clinical research professionals can help ensure medical devices are safe and effective for patient use. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.